Hey GearHeads, Jeff from Gear Report. It's gear-report.com. Today we'll look at the Lucid M7 Microdot, the Lucid 1 to 5 magnifier, which is mounted on an American Defense quick disconnect auto lock mount. Stick around. So Lucid was kind enough to send us some t &E samples. It's testing and evaluation. That means we're going to use these for a bit. Once we've put them through the ringer and written up our report, we'll send them back to Lucid so they can let someone else have a crack at them. Uh, the M7 Microdot. Let's start here because this is kind of the core of the system. I'll get the magnifier out of the way. The Microdot, this has got 21 millimeter lenses on each end. It runs off of a AAA battery. It has tethered caps on the windage, elevation, and battery, as well as, this is the really slick part, this is the part I like the most. Right here, the little dot here in the top is a photo sensor. This adjusts the brightness. So many people complain about various red dots, reflex sites, hollow sites. The problem with these LED-based optics is that the dot sometimes isn't bright enough to be seen in full sunlight. So the solution that has been implemented here by Lucid is a sensor that picks up the ambient light and changes the intensity of the dot based on the current condition. So if it is not very bright out, then it will turn down the intensity of that dot so that it doesn't blind you when you try to look through the site. If it's really bright out, it's gonna make the dot brighter, more intense so that you see it better uh, it's a really slick feature, and that's one of the two operating modes, is the automatic adjustment. If you are a control freak and you would like to control it manually, you also have that option. On the opposite side here, we have a power button, an up arrow, and a down arrow. And honestly, that's it for the controls. This is very simple when it comes to the, the range of controls that are available. This is reported to be parallax-free. It has a field of view of about 48 feet at 100 yards. It's reported to be windproof and shockproof and able to be mounted and handle the shock of firing on anything up to a 458 SOCOM. Ah, the reticle. This has kind of a unique reticle. A lot of red dots have simply a red dot. This has a 2 MOA red dot in the center with a 25 MOA circle around it. So it gives you a nice circle with a dot in the center picture, which may help for more rapid sight acquisition. The weight on this is reported to be 4.6 ounces. We'll get it on the scale here shortly and check that. But uh, regardless, a sub five ounce uh, optic, that's not too bad. You see the M7 from Lucid here mounted on a riser. This is a high height riser, not a standard height, I believe. Uh, the center of the optic, I measured with my calipers at about 1.74 inches above the top of the rail. I believe that standard height puts it at about 1.6, 1.64, somewhere in that range. So this is slightly, maybe a tenth of an inch or so higher. What that gives us is the ability to do a lower third co-witness. So when you look through the M7 micro dot with your iron sights up. The iron sights aren't in the center for a complete, you know, natural co-witness. They're down in the lower third of your sight picture so that you can, you can duck down and look through the sights and co-witness that way, but you don't have to see those sights all the time. You don't have to use them if you don't want to. The Lucid 1 to 5 magnifier. Here it is. You see it swings into place. The way they sell it the magnifier and the M7 micro dot is without a base on either one of them, but they have Lucid, mylucidgear.com. They have both of these sites available. You can get it at a variety of retailers as well. The mounting base here is the right height to line up with the American Defense Quick Disconnect Auto Lock, which, as we see, it allows the optic to swing in and out. So I want to keep my trigger hand in place and be able to manipulate it with my support hand so that I don't have to take my trigger hand off of the grip. Uh, so I flipped it around and put it this direction. You can also mount it the other way if you prefer for it to swing the other way. It, it's going to work in either direction for you.
pretty straightforward with this magnifier. In the limited testing I've done just around the office, we've not gotten this out in the field. This is a preview review, by the way. That means we haven't shot this yet. We're just talking about specs. So we'll get it out in the field and test it. But what I've seen so far, it looks like a reasonably clear picture. It's a little bit dark in, in the lighting that I've tried it. We'll see what it looks like outside. It does have a nice little um, adjustment so you can fine tune that sight picture. Honestly, I've looked a bit at magnifiers and in the lower price range, if you're looking at less than three, four hundred bucks, it can be hard to find a magnifier that will go all the way up to 5x and have some adjustments so you can fine tune your focus. This has all of that and it retails for about $180 uh, last time I checked. This could be a good value if it works out as advertised. That's what we're going to verify for you. And of course the uh, mount, it, this is a pretty solid mount. I'm not getting hardly any movement. There's a little bit of movement in the uh, junction where it uh, pops up to spin around. The mount itself is very secure. Uh, there is the ability to adjust with this uh, quick disconnect and I have it on pretty tight because I don't want it to move around. You just unlock it, pop it off. If you'd like to use it again, it's pretty simple to just set it back in place, get your um, through bolt lined up. There we go. Crank it down, it's a little easier with it not moving. Lucid also sells a 2x magnifier, so if you don't want the variable magnifier, you don't want to deal with something swinging in and out, you want something that is not permanent but slightly less convenient to use, you've got the option of a 2x magnifier. We have some pretty fine threads here and on the tail end of the optic. Uh, so you got to be careful. The threads are fine enough. You know, I, I don't want to cross thread these, so let me get them. There we go. A lot of threads here to screw in. Once you get it in place, you have 2x magnification, again with the ability to fine tune your focus by uh, turning the, the ring at the back. Uh, a nice little rubber cup here. On either one of the magnifiers, you don't have a lot of eye relief. You've got to get pretty close to it. I think that's just the nature of the beast. So that's what we have. And, and like I said, we can't wait to get out in the field and test this and see how it does. This could be an incredibly versatile setup. And when you wrap all all of this together, you're looking at roughly the cost of like an EOTech hollow site or something like that. So um, for the for the price of getting one of what we might call a high-end, you know, mil-spec type optic, you can get this really versatile setup. Uh, the true test is going to be how does it hold up when we get out in the field. We're going to do some target shooting. Um, if we have it long enough to get into hunting season, we're going to take it out and hunt with it. I actually really want to see how this does during hunting season. Got to see if Luce will let us keep it that long. But um, so far, this optic holds a lot of promise. We'll let you know what we find out when we get out to the range.